Welcome to my workshop. You are watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making some low profile, really simple clamping solution, if you want to call it like that, for a MFT style tabletop on your workbench, i.e. you just need to have some holes in the top of your workbench. In my case, the holes are 20 millimeters in diameter and obviously you're going to need some sort of a dowel for those. Now, I actually made this dowel myself on a router table and if you want to make a specific size of a dowel yourself as well with a router table, I've got a full video dedicated on that. So, well, you can catch up with this stage straight away. The link to that video will be down below in the description of this one. So go and have a look, unless maybe you already got a dowel that's 20 millimeters in diameter or any size that your holes in your workbench are. Now, apart from the dowel itself, you're gonna need something for the main body um, of the clamp. And in my case, I'm just gonna be using pine. I've got plenty of off cuts lying about in my workshop. Um, all these boards are 20 millimeters in thickness. So I'm gonna to try to cut around um, the shapes on those. However, if you've got plywood, at least about 18 millimeters in thickness, that would be absolutely perfect. In my case, well, I've got plenty of pine. I can't afford plywood, so pine it is. Let's cut out everything to the right sizes. I'm gonna be making three sets. They will be five centimeters by six centimeters. We're also going to need three pieces for the handle part of this clamp. Now, in this case, I'm going to go for five centimeters wide and 10 centimeters long. I'm going to cut the dowel now as well. I'm going to do three pieces that's going to be four centimeters long and three pieces that will be about three and a half centimeters long. Okay, now we need to establish the position of the dowels in these blocks, the six centimeters by five centimeters, okay? We don't want them to be in the middle. We want them to be in a, a little bit in the side. That will give us a couple of things. Different clamping distances, okay, on each side. So on the five centimeter side, the distance will be one centimeter. Whereas on the long side, the six centimeters, that's gonna be five millimeters. So our dowel will be sitting between those lines, just like that. So just mark off the center of the dowel and that's the spot where we need to pre-drill our hole. And now with a 20 millimeter force snippet and my pillar drill, I'm gonna pre-drill the holes. However, I'm not gonna go through the material. I've set up a depth stop on my pillar drill for 15 millimeters. On my router table, I'm gonna be adding a small chamfer to all the rectangles. And with that done, we can give them a quick sand before we're gonna start gluing in the dowels. And I'm gonna carry on like this with the rest of them. Right, now let's turn our attention to the clamps, the handles themselves. Well, we need to design them in a way. Grab yourself something round. For me, it's gonna be a hole saw that's 44 millimeters. And as you've seen, I'm just tracing it around on the piece of timber that we've cut. We just need a general shape handle for this project. Nothing too fancy, nothing too special. So that's what I've got. Now I'm gonna cut it out on my bandsaw. However, if you don't have a bandsaw, just use a jigsaw or even a scroll saw. Now 
And now with my sander, I can refine the shape. And with the final shape established of the clamp, I'm going to trace it on the other two pieces and carry on with the same way, cutting them out on a bandsaw and then cleaning them up with my sander. Right, with the handle sorted, now it's time to glue in the dowels, okay? Now, we don't have much room for error. It needs to be in this position here, about three millimeters away from the edge. I'm just gonna mark that three millimeters so I know more or less where I am. So the center needs to be at 13 millimeters away from the edge. And with that marked, I'm going to go to my pillar drill to pre-drill the hole for the dowel itself as we did before. And the depth stop is still set up at 15 millimeters. And what's left to do is to glue in the dowels. And now I'm gonna leave the glue to dry. And there you go, the glue has set, so the last thing to do is to add a bit of wax finish. Obviously, you know, you can use any finish you want. Could be an oil finish. Whatever you've got available in your workshop. Now it's time to test this out. Now I do have this piece of timber I want to clamp down to my workbench. Now these stoppers will be at the back and as you remember the dowel is not centered and therefore we've got one, two, three, four different setups here available to us and that's why it's so much easier to actually establish the correct position for these. Well actually with just one of the clamps this is steady as a rock. It's absolutely not going anywhere. And with two of them in, well, this is absolutely not going anywhere. Fantastic solution, super easy to make, as you've seen. And as I say, very adjustable with these bag blocks. Depending on the size of your material, you can place them either way. Very, very good solution here, guys. even under an angle, one clamp. One clamp is absolutely enough to hold this in place. So as you can see, very nice, simple solution, but it seems to be working quite well. Now, the material I used is pine. So I'm thinking eventually the pine, from the pressures, it will break apart. Hence, if you've got any hardwoods or plywood that probably would be the best 18 millimeters in thickness probably that's going to be the minimum for this type of application but for now for me this will be absolutely fine and it's proven to be working quite well and i'm quite pleased with the results especially with these stops they will accommodate any size of boards and sometimes you need that bit of movement as you know the dock holes are in specific positions and sometimes it may not marry up with a normal um, dog on your workbench and this will be absolutely perfect for that. Tiny little handles but they seem to do the job absolutely fine. Now I hope this video was a bit of an inspiration for you and maybe brought you some ideas of what you can do in your workshop. If you've got an MFT style tabletop or basically some holes well, this could be a perfect solution for you to clamp down your work pieces. However, for today, that's all, but don't go just yet. I do have some really cool playlists over here, plenty of videos about woodworking, workshop upgrades, and everything in between. Check them out and maybe, maybe you'll find your next video to watch. Thank you for watching. Take care.